Fata on ya. But when you don't put two dots, then it becomes Alif Maksura. And then you pronounce as Ah. Are you with me? You pronounce as Ah. Here is another word. What is the pronunciation? Kava. Actually, it is Kava ya. Huh? But then that ya became alif. See, no, no two dots. Huh? Remember, kava. So what is the root? Kaf, wa, and ya. Now, as I had told you before, I hinted to you that if they, if they say wa or ya in the verb, then that verb is called weak verb. It does not conjugate normally. We are going to learn at the end of book two, in lesson number 27, 28. But because you are very strong in verb, you have worked very hard, so it is easy for us to do half of the conjugation. Now if I put here, if I come to Hunna, then what do I do? I put noon, nunu niswa. That is our file. And what is the condition of nunu niswa? That the third radical becomes sukun. It gets a sukun. And also in the weak verbs, uh, in the weak verbs, if the third radical happens to be wow or ya, remember, third radical happens to be wow or ya. Then it comes out in open. Right now it is ra'a. As soon as I come to hunna, the ya will become visible. 
if it, if it is his wall, it will become visible. So now, at hunna, ya has to come out. So what will be the verb now? And now, it will have a sukun, because that is the third radical. And where is this? And what is this, brothers and sisters? That is our file. Where is the verb? Ra'ai. Now the verb is Ra'ai. Ra'ai. Sukun on Ya. Okay. As soon as you come to Ra'an, Ra'aina, okay, this is your verb, and this is your file. Huh? Can we do the rest of it? What do you have to do after when you come to Huna? Ta tuma tun ti tuma tunna tuna. Can you conjugate now? Starting with hunna, ra'ayna, ra'ayta, ra'aytuma, ra'aytum, ra'ayti, ra'aytuma, ra'aytunna, ra'aytu, ra'ayna. Very easy for us. And remember, the verb will always be ra'ay, with sukun. And then the fire will be after it. Now same thing will, will be kawa. If I put hunna, brothers and sisters, what will happen to kawa? Kawaina, khalas, brother. Once you know one, the rest is all easy. So can you do now from hunna onwards? Kawaina, kawaita, kawaituma, kawaitum, kawaiti, kawaituma, kawaitunna, kawaitu, kawaina. See, mashallah. In the next lesson, we are getting another verb. Masha, can you come to hunna? Mashaina, see? Can you do the rest of it? Mashaita, mashaituma, mashaitum, mashaiti, mashaituma, mashaitunna, mashaitu, mashain. Don't you think it is easy? It's all halwa puri. Huh? Once you know one, it's easy, inshallah. Huh? And we will always be watchful for fa'il. Always, always look for fa'il, inshallah. Huh? Brothers and sisters, so what is the meaning of ra'a? He saw. In the dictionary you will see, it says to see. What will be the meaning of kawa? He ironed or to iron. What will be the meaning of masha? He walked or to walk. Keep that in mind, huh, brothers and sisters. So here we are. <coughs> we said last time, alummu. Ama karat al Quran al yawma. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? See the question. It is in negation. Ama. What is the meaning of this? Can you translate, brothers and sisters? Uh, did you not? Huh? Remember negation. Did you not read the Quran today? And if the answer is affirmative, you will say. Bala, yes indeed. Bala, yes indeed. Kara, see, watch this, brother. Kara, tu, surata. I'm breaking it. Huh? I'm breaking it. Look at it, brother and sisters. Kara, what is kara? Fear. Very fear. What is tu? What is surata? Mafulun bi. See, easy. Wahuwa huh? mudaf. Surat al-Rahmani, mudaf ilayhi. Then, brothers and sisters, wa hafiz tu ha. How many words are there? Hafiz tu ha. Three words are there. In translation, we will say, and I memorized it. But we break it down. How do we break it down? Hafiz. To file ha mafulun. It's easy. Fa fariha. Fa is ataf. So fariha. Fial mahdi. Now we got to look for file. You will be tempted to say file is mustatir. But before you say that, we got to look to the whole sentence. Maybe file is coming later on. B. How many words are there? Two words. What are they? Harf jar B 
and ya mutakallam. So what is it? Jarun wa majroorun. No brother, this is a jumla failure. So you just say jar majroor and leave it. Do not make a mistake of saying jar majroor shibu jumla khabar. Because that is not right. That can only be said in a jumla ismiya. Not in jumla failure. In jumla failure, you just say jar majroor khalas. Now it is al mudarri al mudarri su why su it is marfu now this is your file huh? what is this brother and sister this is your file very good and kathiran it is maful mutlaq you have now come to recognize it say it but we still don't know and i don't want to tell you we will wait till we come to book three and then we will do it. But as soon as I think, as soon as we do the master, which is a verbal noun, then I will slowly, slowly explain you a little bit of mafulun mutlaq. Huh? Fine, brother. So, fariha bi al mudarrisu kathiran. How will you translate? So, the teacher became very happy with me. Yeah, that is your translation. Okay, brother and sister. Wakala and he said, Kala, brother, what is Kala? Verb. Uh, where is the file? Mustatir. In this case, it is hidden. And he said, what did he say? Hinnaka. Okay, brother and sisters. What is Inna? Harfu Tawkid wa Nasbin. And what is Ka? Ismu Inna? Mansubun, you got to say it. Huh? You will always say Ismu Inna or Ismu Anna or Ismu Lakinna or Ismu Ka Anna or Ismu La Alla or Ismu Laita. All of them will be Mansub. Are you with me? So in this case, Ka is Ismu Inna Mansubun. And where is the Khabar Inna? Ahsanu, mashallah. Wa huwa Mudaf. And then we have Mudaf ilayhi. Got the idea, brother? Fil fasli. What will you say, fil fasli? Jar majroor. Khalas. What is the translation? Truly, you are, you are the best student in the class. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Very good. Al-Ummu. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Zadakallahu ilman. This is a very beautiful dua, brother. Zadakallahu ilman. Ya Bunaya, may Allah increase you in knowledge. Oh, my little son. Now, brother, we haven't done that verb, Zada. Do you see Zada? What do you see in, in the middle of it? Alif, just like Kala. So, this is also a weak verb, which we will be dealing later on. So, Zada. Huh? Okay? Fine, Zada is verb. Then what is Ka, brothers and sisters? Mafurun bihi. Ka cannot be filed. See, these are Damir Muttasilun. If the f verb has a file, uh, then what will be the file? I'll repeat again, brothers and sisters. Uh, huwa and here the file can be Mustatir or can be Maujud in the sentence. Otherwise, how many are left after who and here? Twelve. So let us see where are the file. We start with Zahaba. Huh? Okay. Zahaba, file can be Mustatir or can be Mawjood. And then Zahabat, file can be Mustatir or can be Mawjood. Okay. So then let's do Huma now in the sequence. Zahaba. Where is the file? Alif. Zahabu. Wow. And again, Zahabata. Huh? Alif is the file. And then we come to Hunna. Zahabna. Where is the file? Nu. No. And then Ta. Tuma. Tum. Ti. Tuma. Tunna. Tu. Na. How many? Twelve. Look at their form. There is no Ka Kumakum. Aki Kumakunna. Or who? Huma. Hum or ha, huma, hunna. 
No. They will come as a mafulun bihi. Are you with me? So what is it now? Zada. And what is it? Ka. So ka has to be mafulun bihi. Ka has to be mafulun bihi. Are you with me? You cannot say it file. Because you know the you know the form of the file, which is either alif musanna or vav chama or nunu niswa or it is ta tuma tum ti tuma tunna tu na. And you have done so well, you know, because you can conjugate with ease. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, in this case, Zada Ka, Ka is a Damir pronoun, but it is Mansub huh, and it is Mafulun Bihi. Why it is Mansub? Because it is Mafulun Bihi. Fine, brothers and sisters. So, where is the file? Allahu. How did you guess Allahu is the file? Because it is Marfu. Huh? The file is always marfu. And what is this ilman? It is tamiz. If I say, may Allah increase you, it's not clear cut. Huh? The statement does not make you understand. Increase you in what? Okay? Then we have to bring in the tamiz to clear ambiguity. Huh? So, Ilman is your tamiz. Okay, brothers and sisters. We are going to learn a lot about tamiz later on. Now we come to the next sentence, brother. Now I have to also point out. See the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim's book. Every time I see, I study, I talk, I just cannot help but admire it more and more. Now all the 14 forms of verb, brothers and sisters, that he is teaching us, in this lesson you will only see all singulars. What will you see? What is, what, out of the 14 forms, how many are singular? Hua, hiya, anta, anti, and ana. That's all. That's all he has used in this lesson. Step by step. Come to next lesson, then he will use plural. Antum, nahnu, antunna. So how farsighted, uh, you know, he, Dr. Abdurrahim is, and how beautiful his vision is, that we learn one step at a time. Everything is not mixed like mumbo jumbo. Uh, you get stronger with singulars, then we come to plural, inshallah. Agasalti kumsani ya ummi. What is kumsani? How many words are there? Two. What are they? Kumsana and then ya mutakalam. Ya mutakalam made the fata into kasra. Are you with me, Basar? So, gasalti. Can you translate this? Did you wash? My shirt, oh my mother, mashallah, excellent. So, gasalti, where is the verb? Gasal, with sukun, remember, with sukun. Where is the file? Ti, mashallah. Where is the mafulun bihi? Kumsana, wa huwa mudaf. And then ya mutakalim, mudaf ilihi. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. Okay. What is the answer? Naam. Gasal tu ha. I'm breaking it down. How many words are there? Three words are there. Gasal tu ha. So I break it down. I say to you, Gasal tu ha. So what did I say? Fiel, fael, mafulumi. See, if you understand this way, brothers and sisters, then book three is going to be so easy for you, inshallah. Huh? What is the next word? Kawai tu ha. Kawai tu ha. Why it is ha here for uh, shirt, which is mudakkar? 
Kullu jama'a muhannas. Because it's not singular. If it was one shirt, then it would have been gasaltu hu. But it is kumsan, chama. And in Arabic language, all jama which belong to gairakil are treated as singular. So it became kullu jama muhannas. So we said gasal tuha wa kawai tuha. Masha'Allah. Khuz. Now, Khuz we haven't studied. In next few lessons, we are going to study this. Khuz is the Amar. Brother and sister, take. Huh? How many kinds of verb in the Arabic language? Three kinds, brother. Fiel Madi, Fiel Mudarya, and Fiel Amrin. Huh? We are going to do slowly, slowly, brother and sisters. Okay? Fielun Madin. This is our past tense. And then Fielun Mudarion. Are you with me? And then Fielu Amrin. Are you with me? Fielu Madin. Now, I'm asking you a question. Inshallah, you will recollect. Is Madin here Marfu or Majroor? Can you remember Galin? So Galin, remember? Galin. So Madin is like Galin. Okay, it is here Marfu. Okay. We are going to learn in book three about this kind of nouns, inshallah. So remember, you cannot say fielun madun. It will be fielun madin. It's madin is marfu here. Huh? And then fielun mudariun. And then fielu amrin. This is, what do you see in fielu amrin? What kind of a compound is that? Mudaf, mudaf, mashallah. So khuz here is Khuz here is Fial Amar. Huh? What is the meaning of Khuz? What did you say? No. You take. What is it? You take. So Khuz is a verb. Where is the file then? Mustater. Takdiruhu anta. Are you with me? Okay. Inshallah we are going to learn. Lesson number 14 of this book you know, introduces Fial Amar. But inshallah, we will start doing Fial Amar by the 10th lesson. So that you are strong when it comes in front of you. Khuz haza. Okay, brothers and sisters, if I say Khuz is Fial, where is the file? It is Mustatir. Always. Anta. You take. Okay. Take what? Huh? Take what? See? You ask that question, what? It fits here. So it means it will need mafulun bi. So where is your mafulun bi? Haza, mashallah, mashallah. But then if haza is mafulun bi, then what is this? Al kamisa badal, mashallah, mashallah. See how easy it becomes. Now, why is the kamisa and not kamisu? Yes. Because Mubdal Minhu is Mansub. Haza here is Mansub. Are you with me? Because Mafulun Bihi is always Mansub. So Khud, take, you take. Take what? This. So Haza is Mansub. And then Al Kamisa is your Badal. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay. Hati Zakaya Umino. This is another Amar. Huh? Hati is also Amar. We are going to learn extra about it. Hati. Uh, do you see Hati, brothers and sisters? Uh, what is the meaning of it? Bring. Where is the file? Yeah. yeah. Not as Ya Mutakalam. Ya of Anti. What is it? Ya of Anti. Anti, Ya is your file. 
And what is the meaning of ya here? Mournless. Mournless. We are going to learn this, somebody. But if you could guess it, that was wonderful. But ya is your file here, which means anti, okay? Now I will inshallah explain you this in detail, because this is all new. But you see, your mind is sharp now. You are able to guess it. Okay, hati. What is zaka? Bring. Hati means bring. You bring. What is zaka? Zalika. Fine. Mafulun bihi. What is it? Bring that. Bring, bring what? Bring that. So the zaka, which is zalika, is now again mafulun bihi. And it is mansur. Mashallah, mashallah. Ya ummi. Okay. Zaka. What is zaka as I said? Zalika. What kind of a sentence? Now we are starting here. Jumla ismiya. So what is zaka? Bhaktada. Where is our khabar? Ajmalu. Zaka ajmalu. And see, <clears throat> here min has come. So what kind of a degree is this now? Comparative degree, yeah? comparative degree, yeah? ajmalu, zaka ajmalu, okay, that is more beautiful than this, okay, brothers and sisters, zaka uh, mubtida <clears throat> ajmalu khabar, are you with me, you agree with me, uh, that is better, more beautiful, zalika Ajmalu, okay, khabar, and what is it? Min, and then haza. So what is haza here? What is haza? It's a mashur, brother. I told you. Harf jar? You got to say loudly. Harf jar? All the time. If you see harf jar, then the, the next noun is nothing but majrur. Okay? But we already got our khabar in ajmalu. So we will just say, Menzaka Jar Majru. Khalas. Sister Naima, you have a question? Huh? No, it is Hati. Bring. Huh? See, it is coming here. We will have Hat. Hati, Hati, Hatu, Hatina. Huh? We will soon be learning, inshallah, in the, in the, in the lesson here. This is Anta. This is anti, this is antum, and this is antunna. Now, you see, because we haven't done Fial Amar, so it's too early to explain you in detail. But still, I would like to just say, the f Anta, whenever Fial Amar is Anta, the file is Mustatir. What did I say? Only Anta, only in Anta uh, form, the file is Mustatir. So, like khuz is for, khuz is for anta. So file is mustatir. Hati, the first form, file is mustatir. About, what about the anti? Where is the file? Yeah. yeah. What about hatu? Where is the file? Wow, mashallah. Hatina, where is the file? Noon. Got the idea? So inshallah, we are going to learn in detail everything soon inshallah. Very good. Okay, brothers and sisters. Tadakhulu Maryamu. Tadakhulu Maryamu. Tadakhulu. What is Madi? What is Madi? Dakhala. We can conjugate. Can we conjugate? Let us try Madi. Dakhala. Dakhala. Dakhalu. Dakhalat. Dakhalata. Dakhalna. 
Dajalta, Dajaltuma, Dajaltum, Dajalti, Dajaltuma, Dajaltumna, Dajaltu, Dajalna. And then, Yadhulu. What Bob is this? Dajala Yadhulu. Nasara Yansur. Remember all the time, huh? you will remember, okay? Fatuho Dammin Nasara Yansur. Fatuho Kasarin Darabayadribu. Fatahatani Fatahatani Fataha Yaftah. We got to remember this, eh, inshallah. It's easy because it is new. It takes a little while for you to think, but inshallah you'll become very quick. Okay, brothers, let us see Yadhulu. Five in your pocket. Yadhulu, Tadhulu, Tadhulu, Adhulu, Nadhulu. If I say Huwa Yadhulu, Hiya Tadhulu. Monas Hiya Tadhulu. Anta, Ana, Nahnu, Nadhul. And all of them, the file is Musatir. And in Huwa and Hiya, the file can be Mawjood. So, Maryam is Hiya. So, what are we saying? Tadhulu, Maryamu. Where is the file? Maryamu, mashallah. It's Mawjood. If I say only Tadhulu, then where is the file? Musatir. Right? So, uh, she enters. Okay, can we conjugate mudarya? Are you ready? Still fresh in your mind? Okay. Yadhulu, yadhulani, yadhuluna, hiya, tadhulu, tadhulani, hunna, yadhulna, anta, tadhulu, tadhulani, tadhuluna, anti. Tadkhulina, tadkhulani, antunna, tadkhulna, ana, nahnu, mashallah, mashallah. So Maryam enters, okay? This is like a drama, brother. Huh? This is kind of a drama here. Maryam says, Assalamu alaikum, kaifa haluki ya ummi. Now we can easily translate, huh? Wa kaifa haluka ya akhi, okay? Al Ummu, wa alaykum as salam. Ahlan, welcome, ya binti. Ha, ah, now comes brother and sister. These are the sentences you can practice yourself in talking to each other. Mata kharashti min al madrasati. What is the translation? When did you came out of the madrasa? Huh? So brother and sister, kharaj ti. Where is the fiel? Kharaj. Where is the file? Minal madrasati. Jar majur. Nothing more. Please don't say. Shibu jumla khabar. I got a very weak heart. I'll get heart attack. <laughs> Shibu jumla comes only in jumla ismiya. Okay, fine. And that is also if it is necessary. Okay, fine. What is the answer? Kharaj tu. So where is the verb? Kharaj. File tu. Okay, what, the, what is Baada? Zarf, mashallah. And what comes after Zarf? Mudaf ilayhi. Baada salati. And wa huwa mudaf. And what is the final mudaf ilayhi? Zahri. Translate, brothers and sisters. I came out after the salat of Zohar. Salat of Zohar. Because it is mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Aina zamila tu ki Amina tu wa Fatima tu wa suadu. But the zamila tu ki. What is zamila tu ki? Zamila tu ki. How many words are there? Three. Zamila tu ki? Three. Zamila tu ki. Two words, brother. How did you say three? This is not a verb, brother. <laughs> this is not a tu, is not file. Let us, let us figure out how this verb, word came into being, okay? Okay, brother, what is this? What is this? Zamilun. 
Huh? Is it Muzakar Muannas? Make it Muannas. Za Mi La Thun. Fine, brother and sister. Zamilun. Huh? Make it dual now. Zamilani. Make it plural now. Zumalau. Mashallah. Mashallah. May Allah bless you, brothers and sisters. Zumalau. Fualau. Always keep that pattern also. Try for the patterns to stay in your mind. Zumalau. Means fualau. Ulamau. Fukarau. And it, I put one Dhamma there. What is the sign of that? It is a dip toad. Okay? Now, Zamilatun, make it dual. Zamila Tani, make it plural. Zamilatun. Remember, I told you open your mouth because we want to put a laddu in it. Okay? <laughs> open your mouth. Huh? Zamilatun. Huh? Fine, brother. Zami Latun. Okay. Uh, now we add. So Zamila Tuki. How many words are there? <laughs> this is not your file, brother. Okay. Don't mistake it. Huh? You will remember my songs, huh, brother? Huh? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. So remember that, brother. I'm, I'm singing all these things to benefit you, brother. So that you will never, ever, ever, ever forget. Huh? When the pronoun joins a noun, you get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get charun wa majroorun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, what do we get? We get zarf and mudafilehi. So remember this, never forget this. Huh? So zamilatuki, it is two, mudaf and mudafilehi. Very good brothers and sisters. Okay, so, okay, Aina Zamila Tuki, how will you translate this? Where are your colleagues, school friends? And after that came Aminatu, Fatimatu, Suadu, what are they? They are Badal, Mashallah, Sister Hafza, Zindabad. <laughs> May Allah bless you with more knowledge. And all of us, Mashallah, that was excellent uh, thinking. These are all your badal for where? Zamilatu. Zamilatu. Huh? Mashallah. Huh? Anama raitu hunna. Anama raitu hunna. So ana, brother and sister, what is ana? Muqtada. So where is our khabar? Jumla failia is your khabar. Raitu huh? hunna. What is ma? Harfu nafi. Are you with me? Harfu nafi. Fine, brother. Ra'aytu hunna, ra'aytu hunna. Where is the verb? Ra'aytu. Ra'aytu. Ra'ay is verb and tu is your file. And then where is, what is the hunna doing here? Ma'fulun bihi, mashallah. Three verbs. Ra'aytu hunna. Mashallah, mashallah. Ba'da, what is ba'da? And what is the salati? Mudafili. Very good. Now, al is saying, Ya binti, ahuki, your brother, Hafiza, suratar, rahma, ni. Very good, brother. What kind of a sentence is this? Ahuki. Jumla ismiya, brother. It is jumla ismiya because it started with a noun. So what are we looking for? Muptada. Where is our muptada? Ahu, mashallah. And what kind of a combination is this? Mudaf, mudafili. That is why you have a wow in ahu. Because it has become mudaf. Remember, this is 
Remember, we have so far learned Abu and Ahu. These are special nouns. They undergo little change when they are mudaf. Huh? G? In spelling, yes. Huh? In spelling, they, they, wow comes. When they are marfu, wow comes. When they are mansub, alif will come. And when they are majru, ya will come. But that we are going to learn. So far we have learned only one form, which is marfu form. Okay? So, okay, brother, ahu is your mubtada, wa huwa mudaf, and then mudaf ilayhi, and then where is our khabar? Jumla failure is coming as a khabar, mashallah. Now we analyze jumla failure. Hafiza. What is hafiza? Fihal. Where is the file? Where is the file? Mustatir, mashallah. Mustatir, taqdiruhu, huwa, yadullu ala, Akhu, it goes back to Akhu, mashallah, mashallah. And Hafiza, he memorized. Can I ask him a question? Memorize what? Surata. So what is Surata here? Mafulun bihi. And Wahuwa mudaf. And Rahmani mudafili. Mashallah, mashallah. Now this is the tough thing that I was trying to explain you, brother. Ayya suratin hafisti anti. Ayya suratin mudah mudafili. Ayya suratin hafisti anti. Okay, brother. Now, ayu will always come as a mudaf. Huh? And there will be mudafili. So far we have learned ayu also. Remember? Zu will also come as a mudaf mudafili. Huh? Badu will come as a mudaf mudafili. Kullu will come as a mudaf mudafili. But ayu, ayya, ayji, it will decline properly. Huh? Ayu, ayya, ayji, depending on what kind of a role ayu is playing in the sentence. Here it says ayya. Why it is ayya? Mafulun bihi, Sumaya said, Mafulun bihi. It is Mafulun bihi, you know. Now, because ayyu or ayya is a ismu istifam, it's a, it's a noun for asking a question, it will always come in the front. Okay. But last time I did mention to you, brothers and sisters, that in order to understand it fully, we change it. Huh? This is how I found that I understood is Hafiz T. What is this? Hafiz T. Fiel and file. So you memorized. Now I am saying which surah? You memorized which surah? Huh? Hafiz T. Ayya Surah 10. Are you with me? I change the order in order to understand it properly. Now, can you see the sequence? Fial, file, mafulun bihi. Wo mudaf mudafili. So, if you think like this, you know, then it becomes easy. But remember, when you are using ayu. It will change to ayya if the verb in the sentence is transitive. What did I say? If the verb in the sentence is transitive. Huh? What is the meaning of transitive verb? Mutaaddi. Huh? Mutaaddi. Means it must have mafulun bi. When you have transitive verb in the sentence, then ayyu will become ayya.